viewers and welcome to my channel thank you for always coming back to watch my videos and happy mother's day to all mothers in the whole world today i want us to talk about high blood pressure high blood pressure also called hbp or hypertension is referred to as silent killer because it often has no warning signs or symptoms but that doesn't mean you should ignore it high blood pressure is the leading risk factor for cardiovascular disease related deaths it makes the heart work harder to pump blood and the constant force of your blood against your artery walls can harden your arteries this can restrict blood flow and raise your risk of a stroke or heart attack basically the lower your blood pressure the lower your risk if you don't know your blood pressure numbers or your cardiovascular risk talk with your doctor and find out together you can come up with a plan to lower your blood pressure lifestyle changes and the proper medication are all tools to help you take control of high blood pressure and silence the silent killer nearly half of adults in the united states have high blood pressure under new guidelines 105.3 million adults in the united states have high blood pressure that is 45.4 percent of the adult population by age 60 or older about 60 percent of adults will have high blood pressure clearly because high blood pressure is so common it's important to monitor and manage especially as you age what causes high blood pressure for most people there is no one specific cause of high blood pressure however some factors can increase your chances of developing it let us see some of these factors age as we get older our risk of developing high blood pressure increases. Ethnicity. African Americans tend to develop high blood pressure at an earlier age. Gender. Men are more likely to get high blood pressure in early adulthood however as people reach their 60s high blood pressure is at least as common in women as in men family history high blood pressure can run in families there are also some other factors that can contribute to high blood pressure but haven't been scientifically proven to cause it this include stress stress can temporarily raise blood pressure how you deal with stress may affect other clear risk factors for high blood pressure and heart disease for example some people who are experiencing stress make less 
healthy food choices. Put off exercises. Smoke or drink too much. Smoking and secondhand smoke. Smoking and secondhand smoke temporarily raise blood pressure and damage arteries, increasing the risk for heart disease. Sleep apnea. Sleep apnea interrupts your breathing while you sleep. This is also a risk factor of high blood pressure. Vision loss. High blood pressure strains delicate blood vessels in the eyes and swells your optic nerve. This leads to impaired vision. Permanent vision problems occur when high blood pressure goes untreated. Lowering your pressure is the only way to treat the damaged blood vessels in the eye. Brain damage caused by stroke can lead to permanent vision loss. Angina or chest pain. Angina is chest pain or any other chest discomfort caused by a lack of blood flow to your heart muscle. It can feel like a pressure or a squeezing in your chest and may even feel like indigestion, but it's not restricted to your chest only. You might feel it in your shoulders, arms, neck, jaw, abdomen, or back. It is also possible you may not experience pain. Instead, you may experience symptoms such as shortness of breath, rapid breathing, or fatigue. Kidney disease or failure. Your kidneys and your circulatory system are interconnected. The kidneys are full of arteries and damage to those arteries can make your kidneys lose their ability to filter toxins in the blood and regulate fluid, hormones, acids, and salts in the body. Damaged kidneys also are unable to help your body regulate its own blood pressure. Eventually, the damage is so great that the kidneys fail. Sexual dysfunction. In men, high blood pressure can lead to erectile dysfunction. This happens when there is no enough blood flow to the penis to allow an erection. In women, High blood pressure can mean loss of libido and interest in sex. This is especially so if the condition is contributing to fatigue. Reduced blood flow to the vagina may also affect how a woman's body responds before and during intercourse. What are the risks of uncontrolled high blood pressure? Even though high blood pressure is silent, you have a voice. Little changes can make a big difference. Even reducing your systolic blood pressure by just 2 to 5 millimeters of mercury may lower cardiovascular risks. You can't feel high blood pressure damaging your arteries, heart, or other organs. Over time, however, uncontrolled blood pressure can cause life-threatening problems. Heart attack. High blood pressure can cause your heart's coronary arteries to narrow 
due to a slow buildup of fat, cholesterol, and other substances collectively referred to as plaque. This slow buildup is commonly known as atherosclerosis. As your arteries harden with plaque, you are more likely to develop blood clots. If an artery is blocked by a plaque or a clot, nutrients and oxygen can't reach your heart muscle. When damage or death of part of the heart muscle occurs, it is called a heart attack or myocardial infarction. Heart failure. Heart failure, which may take years to develop, can happen when your heart is unable to provide enough blood to your body. High blood pressure can narrow and block your blood vessels, increasing your risk of developing heart failure. High blood pressure increases your heart's workload with narrower and less elastic arteries. Your heart must work harder to pump blood throughout your body. A higher workload over time can enlarge your heart demands. As your heart grows large, it becomes less efficient at providing your body with oxygen and nutrients. Stroke. High blood pressure causes your arteries to burst or clog more easily, putting you at high risk for a stroke. When a blood vessel in the brain is blocked or bursts, that part of the brain does not get the blood and oxygen it needs. It then starts to die. This can cause you to lose your ability to control movement and bodily functions. Speak, remember things or think clearly. Peripheral artery disease. Narrowing of the arteries to your legs, stomach, arms, and head is called peripheral artery disease. Peripheral artery disease can cause cramping, pain, or tiredness, mostly in the leg and hip muscles. People with peripheral artery disease also have a much higher risk of heart attack or stroke. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you on the next video. Bye.